two and a half pounds. Auto on submersion. Cleans with no nozzle. 104 degree water. A wedge tool for corners and steps. 40 minute run time. Slide off bristle head for direct suction. Easy debris collection and water jet rinse. Welcome to Eclectic Ideas. Coquito ExtraVac 110. Updated for 2024. We've got a pivoting wedge tool for corners and steps. We've got the unit or the vacuum body. Stick on letters and numbers. A flat bristle head. A five section adjustable aluminum pole. Data sheet with warnings and instruction guide. Here's the ExtraVac 110. This clear nozzle twists off. There's a silicon flap right here to trap the dirt inside. And remember, you can clean with this nozzle under flaps and tight spots. It's equipped with a 250 micron mesh filter. Lift the label to reveal a USB charging port. Twist this unit to closed before we put it in the water. So here's the inside of the canister, and we're just going to drop the 250 micron filter in there. Twist the clear vacuum nozzle back on and line it up first. Now twist it into place. There's arrows to show you. And it's a great feature. You can use the vacuum like this to vacuum without a nozzle head at all. I see the grooves in the nozzle, they just match up here. And then we have these nice bristles right here that are just very soft and won't scratch anything. Instant replay, just match those notches up right there, get them aligned. And then you've got the soft bristles to deep clean your spa or pool. Now this is a light duty vacuum, not for the deep cleaning. The pivoting wedge tool also lines up along the grooves and it has that great angled head with wheels and those nice bristles. And it's gonna do stairs great. It's gonna go into those corners and just really nose in there and pick up the debris that just floats in every day that you have to keep consistently cleaning. Here's our charging cable, and you will be able to see that each end of the charging cable is once rounded and once squared, so it's very easy to see which way they go in. You can feel it if you can't see it, and just plug that in and we'll let it charge. A red light indicator comes on telling you it needs charging. And while we're waiting for the unit to charge, let's go ahead and show you these poles. It's a very easy twist on mechanism. It's easier to twist the pole than to get it unwrapped out of the plastic. <laughs> but you just twist this in the unit right here, and then you're good to go with however many sections you need. You can really customize it according to how much length you need for your pool or spa. Here's the universal pole fitting. Now it's already pre-fit with little holes, and these little holes are standardized on the vacuum. And the notches in the vacuum slide right over the fitting where we screwed the other pole in. And they just go until you get those little notches to pop out right there. And you're good to go. That's your universal pole fitting. It's quite sturdy, but since this vacuum is only 2.58 pounds, you really don't need it. Our green indicator light is fully charged. Remember to close your port. And as soon as you see these silver connectors here, you'll know that the port is closed and watertight. And it also activates the water sensor so that as soon as you dip this thing in the water, it starts vacuuming. And notice I don't have any nozzle on here. I'm just going to go ahead and these Best Way Salyu spas have a flap down here. This is a bubble jet, a bubble spa. And so that little flap gets stuff in between the trench and under the flap. And so we're just going to do some cleaning and some suction with no nozzle. I love the auto on water sensor. And no nozzle is going to just let us get into those narrow spaces so nicely. And it sucks so well. So this really makes your spa cleaning so much easier. And the lightweight nature of it, it doesn't wear on your joints or make you ache. Or it doesn't make you tired. There's just no fatigue in it. Coquito Streamline Water Path technology will help a lot here. Because it's going to go in just like a nosy hunting dog. And it's going to clean up all the small leaves, twigs, sand, debris, particles that you might have in your daily cleaning routine. Let's deploy the pivoting triangular brush head tool. It has the nice rolling wheels and the bristles to help trap the dirt in there and, and get it sucked up into the filter. Now you're ready for the straightaways. You get 40 minutes of runtime with each charge. It takes about four hours to recharge it. And I find, even though it's a light duty vacuum, it's got a small filter, but it really does a great job even on the swimming pool. And in cold water, there's minimal contact with the water, which is very nice when it's in cold, icy weather. And see, none of the leaves are coming back out into the pool. The debris is staying sealed in there due to that nice silicon flap. So let's pop on the brush head. Now, this brush head is a very nice tool, and it gets right in here in these flaps, too, and powers in that way. And if you're having any kind of uh, dirt or silt you want to scrub away, this will also help with those bristles. I'm going to lift the extra vac to the surface so we can change the head again and see the power that's generating. It's really, really strong. It bubbles up and you can feel the power. Now you can just slot off the bristle teeth and you can reveal another kind of vacuum head for the grains or silt or dirt you might want to pick up. If you need an affordable, lightweight, easy to clean vacuum, I can't say enough about the Coquito 110. To 
clean all this, we just literally, literally twist it off and your little filter pops out and you rinse that with a spray hose jet. And that's all there is to it. And we didn't have a lot to clean out because the, the spa was pretty clean. Unless you're on a heavily treated lot, it, it holds a decent amount. And here's the simple water jet rinse off or water hose rinse off, whatever you got. You can't go wrong with the Coquito Extra Vac 110. It's a great little vac for all your light duty pool cleaning needs. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.